Hello everyone and welcome to another SOS video tutorial. Today's video tutorial is going to focus on the new SOS smart scanning engine that lets you quickly, simply and effectively find all of the crucial data on your system that you might need to back up. So you can see here I'm on the SOS home screen with the four wizards of online backup, online recovery, local backup, local recovery. Today I'm going to click into the online backup wizard and we're going to look at some new changes in the online backup setup wizard that we've got. This is my default view and you can see that I've already got some data selected in my account. So I'm just going to go ahead and clear out those selections so we can see what it would be like configuring SOS from scratch. So this is the standard SOS screen. You can see at the top here we've got common files and folders. These are your standard Windows folders on desktop, favorites, documents and, and pictures that uh, allows you to quickly and simply back up really common locations with data that a customer might want to protect. Uh, so by selecting pictures, you can see that that's selecting pictures, but you, you notice that that actually hasn't found a whole lot of data because my pictures are located elsewhere on my system. So uh, one of the most requested features we had from our customer base was a way to quickly and easily find data no matter where it is on your system. So we've launched the new SOS So Simple scanning engine, uh, which is built on our vulnerability scanning technology. The vulnerability scanner was designed to help you find the data on your PC that isn't being backed up today. So I'm going to go ahead and click scan my system right here. And you'll see this new wizard pop up and it's scanning right now. And uh, you notice that we've introduced this new concept of uh, content types of documents, images, music, and video. If you want to see what SOS classifies as a document or an image, you can just click on the little question mark here and, and see the, uh, the content types. And you can see that that includes all the standard Office content types on documents. Now that scan's gone through quickly and you can see it's found 2,473 files that match the filters and 38 gigs of data. But uh, what if you want to modify the filters that the So Simple File Select engine is using, or just understand them better, for example? So let's click on Modify Scan Settings. And what we're going to see here is some default settings. And by default, SOS is going to scan all of the folders under your profile. So you can see here under my profile, it's scanning all these standard locations. Now I can change that if I like, and I can ask it to scan my entire system, excluding system and program files folders. Or I can then modify uh, on an individual basis the rules that the scanning engine uses for different content types. And that's important because, for example, with images on your standard Windows system, there's a lot of files, uh, image type files, that are very small that you don't actually need in your backup set. So we've got a rule here that says ignore any file below 20 kilobytes and uh, ignore any file larger than 25 megabytes. You can tweak those settings, but we recommend that you keep the defaults. I go ahead and click OK. It's going to rescan my system. Now, if I want to inspect the results of the scanning engine, I can click View and Edit Results, and I can select the different content types again, and then I can sort and analyze those selections different ways, make sure that it's got the, the files that I do, in fact, want to protect. Click OK, accept results. And now we see that it's applied that the results of that scan to my backup set. I can go ahead now, click through, set up my backup, the way I usually would. Now if I go on across to the SOS My Account portal, uh, I can then see that those same content types are reflected in the new UI on My Account. And I can click in and I can see my pictures and see all that data that I backed up. So that's using the new SOS So Simple scanning engine. And uh, if you'd like to see some more tutorial videos, shoot on over to our help website and uh, look at the how-to videos we've got there or download a free trial of SOS today. Thanks for your time.